so I know you'll get to hear it again and again and again. Welcome to the Pokemon Game Show at Comic Con in Birmingham, Alabama. All right, we are going to have some fun on this game show and YouTube. This is the first time we get to see this, so I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed putting it together. On the Pokemon Game Show, we start with four contestants, but as in Pokemon, there can be only one champion at the end of it. So. To see who's going to be our champion, first we need four, and we have four right here. And we're going to start to my left with Caleb. Let's welcome Caleb to the show. <laughs> Caleb, you want to put your hat on and show everyone your munchlax? There we go. All right. Now, when you're not cosplaying as munchlax, what do you... Here's a microphone for you. You can use that one over there. Here's a microphone for you. You'll eventually be over here. We just didn't have room for you. All right. What do you do when you're not uh, cosplaying as much likes? Uh, well, I go to Wallace State over in Hensville. Um, I make AMVs. I was actually making a contest, but I didn't win. Oh. That's all right. Did you have fun making it? Yeah. Uh, well, there you go. That's the point. I actually won the uh, fan favorite over at uh, the Hong Kong contest. Oh, cosplayer. congratulations for that. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, welcome, and good luck to you, sir. Thank you. All right. Our second player is Carissa. Let's welcome Carissa to the show. Chris, are you nervous? <laughs> you're either nervous or you're shy. You got a microphone there. Tell us about yourself. Tell us about yourself. Where are you from? What you do? are going to be either Pokemon questions for trivia, or they're going to be Pokedex entries. I will read you a Pokedex entry and you'll tell me what Pokemon we're talking about. We're going to... Well, there you go. Well, we're going to start... We're going to start with this trivia question. So, ready to go. And audience, please do not help over the course of this game at all. Don't call out any numbers. Don't call out any answers. Let the contestants play the game. That's right. First question. Every adventure has its beginning. In the original games, what town do you start in? All right, and that's Jesse. In the original games, you start in Palatine. What day do you start your adventure? Palatine is the right answer. <laughs> All right, our first round is called Super Effective. Here's how it works. There are 30 numbered squares. Behind each square is the name of an attack. I'm going to show you a Pokemon, and you must find a special attack that is super effective. You don't need to know, you just have to remember. If you find an attack that's super effective, you score a point. The first three players to score two points move on to the next round. All right? So, you get to go first, Jesse. Here's your first Pokemon. It's Zubat. Find an attack that is super, there's a lot of them. Find an attack that is super effective against Zubat. Call out a number. Number five. All right, number five. Let's see what's behind five. 
avalanche, which is ice, which is super effective and it's flying! Alright, so that will lock and you will score your first point. If you score one more point, you will move on to the next round. Alright? We will move on to our next question before we reveal the next Pokemon. Get ready. In most games, how much is a regular Pokeball? And that's Jesse. A regular Pokeball costs 200 Poke Dollars. That is the right answer! Alright. Okay, Jesse, here's your next Pokemon. Find an attack that's super effective against Trico. I would like to pick square number 15. All right, number 15. Let's see what we got there. Sap Cannon, that is not super effective. Remember where you saw that, because if we see another Pokemon and that is a super effective attack, you can go right there to score your point. Trico's still on the board. Here's our first dex entry. And all of these dex entries are from their first game. That could be from either version but it will be from their first game. Here is the dex entry. In battle, it flaps its wings at high speed, releasing highly toxic... All right, and that's Jesse. The Pokédex entry would be that of Venomoth. That is incorrect. In battle, it flaps its wings at high speed, releasing highly toxic dust into the air. Everyone, all right, Andrew. Dustox is incorrect. Caleb or Carissa? Time. Audience. Butterfree is the right answer. All right. That's all right. Okay, well that is the next entry from Pokemon uh, Red or Blue, it's one of them. Okay, next question. What character whose name is one letter is a main opponent? Caleb. The answer is N for Pokemon Black and White. And you just finished the question and you gave me the right answer. N is what we were looking for. All right, Caleb. you got to find a super effective attack against Trico. Where are you going? I'll take panel 10. Panel number 10. Let's see it. So, that means you have scored your first point. Score one more point, you're moving on to the next round. All right. Next question. What Pokemon directly evolves into Blastoise? Caleb. The answer is War Turtle. The answer is War Turtle. That is correct. All right. Now, Caleb, here's your Pokemon. Find an attack that is super effective against Aeron. Panel 18. Panel 18. Force Palm. Force Palm is fighting. Fighting is super effective against Aaron. You move on to the next round. All right, Caleb. That means that you don't have to buzz in anymore. You're done. You're through to the next round. So, now we need two more players to move on to the next round. That will be among these three. All right. We have another Dex entry coming up. And here it is. Its newly grown legs prevent it from walking well. It appears to prefer swimming over walking. All right, Jesse, time to take a shot. Would it be Poliwag? It would be Poliwag! Caleb says that's what he would say, but you're already through. You don't have to worry about it. All right, here's your Pokemon. Find an attack that is super effective against... Sneasel. I would like to pick panel number 30. Panel number 30, 3 -0? Okay, panel number 30. We have... Volt Tackle, that is not super effective against Sneasel, but remember where you saw it. All right, here is the next question. That's a Pokédex entry, we're doing questions now. In Pokémon Red and Blue, who is the leader of Cerulean Gym? Jesse. 
The gym leader of Cerulean City's gym would be Misty. And that is the right answer. All right. Still looking for an attack that is super effective against Sneasel. Where are we going? I would like to pick panel number 22. Panel number 22. Ice Fang. Ice Fang is not super effective against Sneasel. All right, but we've seen three attacks now, so remember where you saw them. They may help you later. I have another Pokedex entry for you. Here it is. Found in fields and mountains. Mistaking them for boulders. Jesse, would it be Geodude? People often step or trip on them. Geodude is the right answer. All right, we're still on Sneasel. What do you think? I will pick panel number one. Panel number one. Let's see what's behind one. Blaze Kick, that is a super effective attack against Sneasel. All right, Jesse, that means you are through to the next round, so you can put your controller down. It's going to now be between Carissa and Andrew to determine who is moving on. All right, here's the next question. What hatches from the egg you are given in... And okay, going to take a chance, Andrew. Togepi is incorrect. In Hawthorne City, in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Do you know it? I know you know it, but you don't. You want to take a guess at it? It's all you. All right, time's up for the audience. Apini is the right answer. All right. No. Next question. If it is 3 p.m., what Pokemon do you get when your Eevee levels up at maximum happiness? Carissa, that is incorrect. Umbreon is incorrect at maximum happiness. What do you want to take a guess? Espeon is the right answer. Yes. All right. Let me ring you. Let me ring you in. So we can actually give you credit for it. Okay, Andrew, you've got it. You are looking for an attack that is super effective against Vaporeon. Oh, where do you think we might find one? Number 30, that sounds good to me. Number 30 is Voltaggle, that's super effective. All right, Andrew, one point for you, one more, and you are through to the next round. All right, next question, let me lock that one in. And it's going to be another Pokédex entry. This could determine who moves on. A sweet aroma gently wafts from the leaf on its head. It is docile and loves to soak up the sun's rays. Andrew. Sunfloor is incorrect. Do you want to take a guess? Chikorita is the right answer! Let me ring you in so that... You... Actually, push your button. Just push it up. There you go. Okay. All right, Carissa, here we go. You are looking for an attack that is super effective against Skarmory. I think we may have seen one. Do you remember? With 22? Okay, let's see what is behind number 22. Ice Fang. Ice Fang is not super effective, but remember where you saw it. All right. Next question. What is the fire starter Pokemon from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire? Carissa. Torchic is the right answer. All right, Carissa, we're still trying to find an attack that's super effective against Skarmory. What panel would you like? 14. All right, behind number 14, we have Ice Beam. All right, we're still with Ice Attacks. Not quite. All right, next question. In the 10th episode of the original anime, Melanie gives Ash a Pokemon after the gang defeats Team Rocket. What starter Pokemon is it? Andrew. 
Charmander is incorrect. Do you want to take a guess? Bulbasaur is the right answer. All right, go ahead and hit your button. And we're still looking for one for Skarmory. What do you think? Number 20. Let's see what's behind number 20. Drain Punch. Drain Punch is not super effective. All right. So, we move on. Next question. Who is the green-eyed member of the three Team Rockets, Jesse, James, or Meowth, who has green eyes? Carissa. It is James! Yes, that is the right answer. All right, Carissa, you are doing really well on the questions. <laughs> Still looking for an attack that's super effective against Scar Marie. What panel? 25. All right, number 25 is... Leaf Storm. No, not there. All right, but now we've seen our first grass attack on the board. I have another Pokedex entry, and here it is. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. Powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. Andrew. Shelter is incorrect. You want to take a guess? Kabuto is incorrect. Audience, Squirtle. Squirtle is the right answer. All right. Next question. What are the only two attack types that dragon Pokemon have a weakness to? Andrew. Dragon and Ice is the right answer. All right. Skarmory, what do you think? Number nine, number nine, number nine. No, Leaf Blade, all right. We're revealing a lot of things here. Unfortunately, we're stuck. Here we go, next question. On the National Pokedex, what number is Mew? Andrew. 151 is the right answer. Good job. All right, Andrew, we're still looking for one. It'll put you through to the next round. Seven, let's see, number seven. No, Nigadrain. Well, we know where all the grass attacks are now. Okay, next question. In generation three, what corporation is based in Rustboro City? Andrew. Team Magma's incorrect. Do you want to take a guess? What's that? No, no, Aqua is also incorrect. Audience, Devon Corporation. Devon Corporation is the right answer. All right, we are getting close to the end of time for this round. So right now, if the round were to end, Andrew would be moving on. We will have, how many more questions have we got? We have a total of seven more questions left in this round. If we don't have a winner by then, the, game, the round will end. Here we go. Next question. It's a Pokédex entry. Their shapes look like hieroglyphs on ancient... Andrew. Unknown is the right answer. All right. Here we go, Andrew. Eight. Let's see if we can move on to the next round. Behind number eight, we have... Dive! No! All right, here we go. Another Pokedex entry. Here we go. When darkness falls, the rings on the body begin... Carissa, begin to glow, striking fear in the hearts of anyone nearby. Umbreon is the right answer. All right, Carissa, where are we going? Eleven? Oh, seven. Number seven. All right. Four, number seven. She said 17? Did you say 17? Okay. Thank you. 17. Cross chop. No. <laughs> and by the way, seven is still grass. Pokedex entry. A legendary bird Pokemon said to appear to doomed people who are lost in icy mountains. Carissa, Articuno is the right answer. 
All right, Carissa, where are we going? What's that? Do you want seven? I've got to take that. All right, number seven is still Giga Grand. That's still grass. Okay. Here we go. Moving on. Next question. Who do you help catch a Ralts in Pokemon, Carissa? Wally is the right answer! All right, Carissa, where are we going? Okay, she says 20. And Drain Punch. We've seen that one, I believe. Okay, we are down to one, two, three more questions in this round. Here we go. In what U.S. cities will you find... Hang on. No, this isn't a good question anymore. What do you need in order to trade evolve an onyx into a steelix? Andrew, Metal Coat is the right answer. All right, if you can find an attack that's super effective against Skarmory, you'll be moving on. Number 11, let's see. Number 11, Thundershot! Yes! 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 You've done it! All right. Huh? Guys, we only covered panel 15, which is an electric type move. Why didn't you guys say that? Because they forgot. That's what I just said. That's what this is what I just said. But that's what you're All right, so congratulations. Now, Carissa, the bad news is you're out of the game, but the good news is you get first pick of all the prizes that I have. Here's what, here's what you have to choose from. You have a still shrink wrapped, whoa, shrink wrapped stylus holder from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. You could choose. The Giratina, Giratina, you could choose the Ho-Oh, right there, that, is, that could be yours. You could choose an actual stylus, the Palkia stylus from Diamond and Pearl, or you could take the bag that all those things came in that has the Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. Which one would you like, Chris? You got the bag. Let's give it up for Marissa. When we come back, we've got three players moving on on the Pokemon Game Show. Stay tuned.